Hi, and welcome to another tutorial from streamcast.com. That's stream-cast.com. Today we're going to show you how to use Auto DJ using CentovaCast. And uh, if we have time, we'll also uh, show you a few other features that are listed in CentovaCast. First thing you want to do is you should have gotten your details from your provider on how to log into the control panel. So we want to get those out now. We want you to log into your CentovaCast control panel. So we can do that now. Go ahead and do that. We are already running Auto DJ on this particular uh, server. So um, a lot of what I'm going to show you is going to be exactly the same. Some things just might look a, a little bit different, but it, you'll get the idea. So when you log into your CentovaCast, uh, Shoutcast, uh, CentovaCast web-based panel from streamcast um you should see something that looks like this uh, recent tracks really won't be uh, filled in because you haven't put any there um but this is basically it what you need is your ftp details because you're going to need an ftp program to upload your songs and we'll go through that in a second but on the left hand side just click where it says quick links and here down towards the bottom, you're going to see a section called FTP Client Connections. And that'll give you your host name, your username, and then the password, which should have been sent to you by your provider. If you didn't get that, contact your provider. Say, look, I'm trying to get my FTP information, and um, I didn't get that. It's Sometimes it's going to be the same as your control panel password. So try that first before you contact them. So once you get all that, write it down. Um, and while you're there, just you want to, might want to also confirm um, the information given to you by your provider up here, which is Live Source Connections. If you want to stream live, this is what you use for your encoder. Here's your host name, your port number, and of course the password um, from your stream settings, which again should have been given to you by your provider. Typically, it'll be the same as your. It it, it probably is the same as your web based control panel, and your FTP. So you might want to make a note of that while you're here. Once you get all that down, we need to get you an FTP software. And uh, we recommend FileZilla. Now, you can use whatever you want, but we're, for these purposes of demonstration, we are going to be using FileZilla. If you want FileZilla, it is free. Uh, go to FileZilla-project.org. That's FileZilla-Project.org. And <clears throat> when you come to this page, don't click on anything here in the middle. On the left-hand side, under FileZilla, you'll see Download. Go ahead and click on Download. Your executable file is uh, right up here, which is Download Now. You can also get it as a zip file. If you're using a Mac, just scroll down a little bit. It's down there. If you're using Linux, it's right above the Mac, right below the Windows. So download whichever one you want, save it to your hard drive, and then from your hard drive, uh, install the uh, FileZilla or FTP client that you're going to use. So go ahead and do that. And when you finally do install it, you're going to come to FileZilla, and it's going to look something like this. The left-hand side of this window is basically your server. I'm sorry, this is your computer, my bad. Your computer is on the left-hand side, and the right-hand side is going to be the server that you're going to be connecting to. Now, I've already got my computer set to a directory that I'm going to uh, move over, or at least show you how to move over. So yours may look a little different. You might want to navigate through the top window here to the directory where your music files are so you can kind of get a feel of what I'm doing. Up at the top, you're going to see host, username, password, and port. That information that we saved earlier about the FTP client connections, this is where you're going to put that in. So go ahead and put your host name in. And your username and password. For the port number, um, the default for FTP is 21. So you want to put a 21 in there. And then once you have all that in correctly, and by the way, don't copy and paste, type it out. Copying and pasting sometimes will put in a, um, a blank space where you don't want it. So once you have everything in correctly, 
click on where it says quick connect and you'll see that you have connected to your server you'll see three folders here the folder we want to uh, focus on right now is media now we've already got music files in that folder and you'll see that we have three folders in here you can you can bring your files in directly or you can create folders we like to do folders because we like to have uh, more of a control more um, more of an organization within the server up to you though so you can do it with file uh, with folders or you can just go direct so I'm gonna click on Dave Mason here let's say I just wanted to upload this first file here I'm just gonna click on it and drag that's all you're gonna do and you see how the, the cursor changes I'm not gonna send it over but you can see what I'm talking about here you can do more than one file just highlight them both and then drag them over if you want to do the uh, the whole directory the whole um, uh, folder click on that folder drag it over if you want to do more than one folder and drag them over and then the files will all uh, go ahead and, and move over like that so once you have your your music uploaded and by the way before I go on I must say this before uploading your files make sure that each file is at the maximum bitrate allowed by your auto DJ server for streamcast it is 128k if your files are higher than 128k or lower than 128k you run the risk of a couple of things number one when that file plays it may sound like chipmunks or it may sound like it's running in slow motion or the transcoder might kick in which means it'll sound fine but now you're using a lot of resources on the server and your provider will not be a very happy person <laughs> so be sure that you had 128k as a matter of fact I believe streamcast will actually could could actually suspend your account if you stream at something other than 128k so be sure you have them at the correct bitrate before uh, filing to the uh, server once you have your songs on there and by the way I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and double click on massive attack just so you can see you see that there are so uh, files in there same thing with David Guetta you see that <laughs> a lot of files in there a lot of folders and you can see we have that there so once you have that all done you want to go ahead and go back to your Centova cast and again we already have it running so I'm going to shut down the server for a moment <clears throat> just to kind of get it to where it's going um, so your dashboard should look something similar to this where your server status is offline your source status is offline your source connected says no this is kind of like what it might look like for you in order for you to run auto DJ you have to have at least one song in a playlist before auto DJ can actually be started and the way you do that is you go to media library and remember you've already uploaded all your songs this box here even though we show those three folders on there will probably be blank everything will be blank here click on update media and you'll get a notice when it's all done it says update complete completed successfully tracks re-indexed when you're done there click on media library on the left again we're going to be using the standard rotation as an example or in this case let's just use light rotation there are a couple of ways that you can upload a file you can simply click and drag into any one of these or you can you can click on this item here and you'll see all the songs that fall under that album and you can one at a time drag it over or you can select a bunch of them and you know drag over here and then say these these two maybe go to this one it's really all you want light rotation is nothing more than it the songs will be played less times than others heavy rotation more than others and then standard is just kind of like regular so you you take your songs and you put them into the playlists that you want you can put them all into one it, it really doesn't matter it's up to you if you're a radio station or if you're selling product 
You can also click on where it says Manage Playlists, and you can actually create a playlist, say for spots. So you want to create a playlist, and let's call it Spots. <clears throat> Status will be enabled. That will turn the playlist on. Where it says Type, you want to do Interval. And all Interval does is it says, OK, I want one track or one file from this particular playlist to play once every, let's give it a number, every six songs. And then you save it, and you'll see Spots is right here. If you go to Media Library, there it is again. So if you have a an item here called Spots, and you have, say, three or four files of commercials, say, again, you would just click and drag it into Spots, and then it'll work itself that way. So once you have everything set up that way, go ahead and click at the bottom right where it says Return to Control Panel. This is going to be the easiest thing you'll ever see. To start Auto DJ, now that your files are on file or on the server, the server has found them. You've put them in playlist. Just click Start Server. We're now working Auto DJ. It's that simple. If you want to stream live, again, it's pretty simple. You have to log into this web based control panel. You want to click on Deactivate Source. You'll get this little warning. It'll just tell you you're deactivating the auto DJ and that you should be ready to stream because it's not turning off the server. It's just turning off the source. So you've got time to, to go ahead and log in. You click OK. And now you can stream live if you want. When you're done streaming live, you want to go back to auto DJ. Log into this again. Click where it says activate source. Again, you get a warning saying, you're going to turn it on, you click OK, and you'll see source status again is now online and source connected, yes. So that's how you use the Auto DJ. That's how you stream live using an Auto DJ server using the CentovaCast uh, control panel. Other things about this uh, CentovaCast, um, the configure server is basically what your provider gave you, all these things here. Um, you can view your current listeners if you have any. You can view statistics on listeners and whatnot. Um, view logs. Server administration is nothing more than uh, your um, DNAS page. There it is. Quick links, we were there already, but that's where you got your FTP information, your live source connections and, and some tune-in links that you can use. Code snippets are like if you want to go to your website and you want to show what the current song playing is, etc. You can use those. And then manage playlists and media library. So all in all, it's a fairly simple control panel to use. Just take your time, enjoy your time with it, and uh, contact uh, um, support at stream-cast.com if you have any questions, and hopefully this tutorial will have helped you. Until the next tutorial, you all have a great day.